Hello my lovely Scorpio, welcome to this reading. It's Mia here and we are going to have a look what kind of energies are surrounding you for the month of February 2023. Now I really hope you're doing great, really really great. Just keep in mind this is not one-on-one -on -one reading, this is a general reading so take the messages that do resonate and drop the rest and I have news for you. Subscription is free. Well simple isn't it <laughs> I, you know i like to make a joke here and there and please subscribe like a comment and it really helps along right without further ado are you ready let's go beginning of the month middle of the month and guess what it's the end of the month as well oh here we go six of swords and ace of wands you got inspired that's what I, well, you might say, where you get this from? Like, it's just when I see the cards and I'm thinking of you and it's just like, you know, the kind of spring wind comes and it brings that kind of feeling. It brings that words in my mind's eye. You got inspired and you run with it. And this is... Sometimes Six of Swords, very often, and not this case, very often we say you are going away from some sort of troubles. You are actually going towards something that has inspired you. Yes, you are away from maybe feeling stuck in something. Maybe you you may have felt that you were going nowhere or the same or same or, and nothing wrong with that if you are happy with that, right? I'm not here to judge you or anyone how they want to live. But Tarot is saying that something is calling you. There is this passion because ones are our inner passion. It's our things that make us wake up in the morning earlier and do some things. And sometimes we can't explain why we want to do them because they really inspired us. And something is calling you. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh, I just heard three knocks. I, I was like that. I just really felt like it to doing so. And you could be surprised what it is. Because uh, while I'm looking at the Six of Swords, I'm thinking as well about Six of Cups. And it's something from, not just from the past or, or the childhood. It's something from your deep down within you. Either this is some challenge you want to do climb mountain why not okay and the mountain can be various things or this is something maybe you want to start to do painting start to because once is very creative once is something that we do and create from nothing in a ways there's something that you want to conquer i'm really excited right scorpio what do we have for you oh at the beginning of the month we have the full moon in Leo, and this is going to be whew, full on. <laughs> bring in the money and bring show me the real you, like Leo style. However, we have the chariot and we have four pentacles. We have a cancer here. You are not looking back at all. You are ready for the trip. And so you have the six of swords. You're holding on to energy and you're holding on to the vision. And very often um, in relationship, I would say maybe you're too shy and you're holding on too much. You're not allowing energy to flow. However, here you are ready. There are going to be some bumps. You make sure that you are your vision is clear where you're going, that you have enough money, that you have enough very strong self-discipline and very strong work ethic. That's what I'm feeling here. Because Chariot is someone who knows this is not going to be, this is not going to be some sort of holiday trip. This is going to be a work hard and work smart trip. And it's mind over matter. Right, Scorpio, I'm going to say as it is. Either you want to start, I don't know, a YouTube channel. Something you have never done before. Maybe you want to write a book. Because that's what you write. Literally, you do make it from nothing. Maybe you want to grow a vegetable patch and sell, sell it or create a kitchen. Or 
something along the lines that is a bonkers idea maybe and you are ready for that ride oh boy oh boy you are packing the bag it, in metaphorically you are kind of ready for that you might take some time but it's very exciting i feel that you are very excited about it even though it might take some time it might take some energy probably money as well but it's a good adventure indeed right what do we have for you queen of cups and <laughs> yourself Alrighty. sensitivity and transformation well no one transforms better than you yourself and you are now you are very notorious for it but that's your talent when everyone everyone might not have believed in you you raise from ashes like phoenix and you blossom into something beautiful you like a dark horse you can be a dark horse now and then and that is your strength not a weakness that is your strength my baby queen of cups this is kind of this motherly voice i hear you know Shh, it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine you're gonna get there and it is the card of kind of guidance there is some sort of guiding either angel guiding voice guiding guiding friend supporting friend or supporting soul or person that is inspiring you in maybe you not even met this person before we communicate with thoughts and emotions through internet and we never meet the people that inspired us we and all we can do is either to subscribe to them or even comment saying thank you but this feels that you might have someone um one for the road why i'm hearing one for the road it feels like this is going to change something and 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 it's not feeling yet but it feels that it's going to go the distance and it's going to be very exciting right right in the middle we have five swords in the moon you're ready to leave you can you just can't wait to leave even though five swords could be sometimes daily anxiety or in ways that you know what if i don't five the five of swords you know what i'm gonna just take three and i'm just legging it i'm just gone anyways and I know <laughs> with the Pisces presence there is some 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 issues that I need to address and maybe not everything on the journey will be visible to me right here right now not from A to the Z and I will need probably to figure things out and so be it it feels quite feisty quite feisty um, energy here you you are not able you, you just can't wait to leave Look at this. We have five swords, six swords. I do pay attention how the numbers, especially in the same um, with the swords or, or cups, or whatever it is, how they kind of progress. And it has all built up to this point. Right. There is some hidden desires, hidden talents that are coming through as well. Scorpio, really so. I feel very artistic kind of vibes here, whatever the artistic vibe is. Queen of Pentacles. We have queens coming through and Knight of Swords. Kindness and drama. Well, the Knight of Swords is someone who is not allowing to past drag on. And look at this kind of posture. He's kind of ready. If someone's come near me or mine, he's kind of really protecting the Queen of Pentacles. And I feel it, it's kind of you kind of protecting your idea and not really wanting to tell everyone what you're doing. And it's very vulnerable, feels a very vulnerable idea. And you just don't want, and I absolutely agree, and I totally agree with you. You do not want to tell people what you want to do for them to kind of... Uh, throw some rubbish on it right because because of their insecurities not because of your insecurities because of theirs and queen of pentacles is someone who is it's like having a baby or carrying a baby maybe some of you guys you're actually planning it and you just want to keep it quiet and you know some mothers and, and parents they just want to keep it quiet for until they're sure and that could be feeling like it's your baby it's something that you want to really cherish and 
let grow before you kind of reveal to the rest of the world we have another two queen of pentacles that is so beautiful it's the manifestation it feels such a gentle gentle energy even though queen of pentacles could be various things here this feels like regarding business you are you are putting so much of it yourself and you're putting your soul in you're putting your time in you're putting your whole entire life in it and you know what universe is going to pay back to you what is owed to you fairly trust me trust me on that one we have the new new moon in pisces on the 20th of uh, feb and it's going to be some magical moments happening. You might not even be prepared to um, have that yet. And you might not be waiting for the rewards coming in yet. But rewards are coming. Rewards are coming. It feels very warm. Very strong warm energies. Really positive warm energies in this reading. Indeed. I'm super happy for you guys. Now, let's have a look. The full... <laughs> You, you look this person here is traveling light they have very little possessions with them or none so there's a fool he's literally diving in he's like leaving he she's leaving things behind whatever i'm gone i'm going i'm gone gone baby and nothing and no one is gonna stop you from this journey that you want to take either this is a uh, starting new job looking for a new job changing work changing a partner uh moving place of home or starting a business whatever that idea is no one's gonna stop you well no one's gonna stop scorpio in first place excuse me i my apologies deepest apologies however it's, it feels like it's a great omen. It is a beautiful month. It's a beautiful energy for starting new and fresh. You draw a line. It is what it is. And you start as it is. I'm going from here, this card here. Ask your angels. And yes. I feel that you are, as I said, there was this queen of cups. I kind of guided energy. You have really a lot of protection, Scorpio. Uh, particularly in this month. This feels like free, loving and caring energy. Either you are wanting to become a parent and or maybe this kind of feeling of wanting to be a parent. And parenting could be various. You might be looking after someone else's child or, or taking, as I said, taking on business idea or becoming a parent or wanting to be a parent. And parenting and family is, is a very broad topic, right? And if there's something that is bothering you or you are not sure, are you, are you, is it the right moment? Yes, it is the right moment. There is never a right moment. Ask for help. Ask for help and the angels will help you. Just put your thoughts, put your worries in the words, in your mind's, mind's voice and say it. And just say, I need your help. Guide me. Just like that. Magic. <laughs> it is magic it is indeed all right my lovely scorpio thanks so much for being here i'm sending you love and light be good and i'll see you in the next reading Ta-da. <laughs>